What's going on, guys? Welcome back to some more Earthbound. In the last part, um, we defeated Mr. Carpenter, rid the Happy Happy Hills of its curse, and freed uh, Paula with their uh, free Paula of her own curse. Anyway, in this part, uh, we're gonna get into some fight with Carl's. Now, it's a good thing to mention that Paula, when she's starting out, is gonna start off insanely weak. However, she does come with a PSI attack. She comes up with Freeze Alpha. So let's use it on the Spiteful Crow. Because Paula's gonna be very weak starting off. However, we should get uh, some XP out of this. Maybe enough for a level up. Game 3 of Ace. You know, for Cookie. You just took it. And we didn't get a, no level up, unfortunately. But, uh, it, does, it won't take much to level up Paula. I will say that once you get into battles, though, like Ness and pa the more party members you get, the more XP the uh, the the party members are gonna split. And uh, now we're gonna go back to the uh, we're gonna go back to the uh, Happy Village shop because uh, we need we can get Paula some items. We're gonna get the frying pan, which uh, increased her attack. In her attack, her offense raises changes from two to twelve. And let's get let's get let's get our nice cheap copper let's get our nice copper bracelet. Now that'll change the defense from two to twelve. And uh, why don't we get her ribbon too? Because that's her version of the Holmes hat. The ribbon is also better than the Holmes hat. So uh, wait, am I am I doing this right? So. I don't seem to have enough money, so I gotta go in the ATM. Forget when you're not reading the text. Let's just take in a hundred dollars. Like that got me way off guard. Like, uh, yeah, we're gonna buy the ro ribbon for Paula. And her defense will change from twelve to thirty-two. And uh, yeah, so uh, why don't we um? I'm just gonna go and uh, heal really quickly and uh. I'm just gonna go and heal really quickly. Um, put it on screen because uh, we only really have one thing left to do in Happy Happy Village, and there's a sanctuary location. We can't miss the sanctuary location. Tech this particular sanctuary location. Like um, you can actually leave Happy Happy Village right now and just come back and do the sanctuary later. When you have, because by then, later on, you'll have more health and more party members. So, like, you can do this later in the game. And you can, you're basically doing these sanctuaries out of sequence. This is pretty much the only case in which you can sequence break Earthbound, though. Anyway, so these enemies. This is the Mole Plane Rough. Now, uh, they will claw with their sharp nails, which will do a lot of damage to Paula. And, uh, they will basically, um, not only that, they will confuse you. So, uh, yeah, they are, they are really weak to freeze, though. And they are gonna attack the teddy bear. Paula does come with a teddy bear. And Mole Plane Rough became tame. So, uh, we won the battle, and, uh, we get 220 XP ice now. It's gonna leave a present. There was a cross, cross it. There was a cross it. Paula's now level two. Max HP went up by two. Max HP went up by two. Paula's now level three. Offense went up by two. Speed went up by one. IQ went up by one. Luck went up by one. Max HP went up by three. Max HP went up by three. Paula realized the power of PSI Fire Alpha. Paula's now level four. Offense went up by two. Defense went up by one. Speed went up by one. Guts went up by two. IQ went up by one. Max HP went up by two. Max BP went up by five. Paula's now level five. Luck went up by one. Max HP went up by one. Max BP went up by one. Yeah, you want to get Paula up as many levels as possible. Which you can do this. That mole plane rough will most of the time respawn in the same spot. So what you want to do is that you want to get Paula up to, I'd say, level eight. I didn't mean to recover. Paula doesn't even know. Yeah, that does a, that would have done a lot of damage if Paula's still at level one. But um, so we're gonna get a lot. Paula's also getting a lot of XP. You want to get Paul? You want Paula to get as much? Paula's now level six. Offense went up by one. Speed went up by one. Vitality went up by one. IQ went up by one. XP went up by seven. XP went up by four. 
We also probably have Shield Alpha. Yeah, you want Paula to get as many HP as possible. You want to leave the area, come back. Maybe I'll start cutting out these battles, but um, maybe not. But like, um, you really want to get Paula because like she learns a new attack that'll also help. Oh, smash attack! Yes. I'm just checking my mixing software, but um, Ness is now level 17. Max HP went up by two. Max Paul is now level seven. Offense went up by two. Speed went up by one. IQ went up by one. Max HP went up by one. Max HP went up by five. Anyway, so um, I think we can get in a one more battle. I think we can get in a couple more battles as well as Paula. Um, Paula's one more level up. So um. I think one more battle to get her up to level 8. Just use PSI Freeze for a good luck time. Like, no matter what the enemies is, sometimes some enemies are strong as Freeze, but Freeze can, you can just use as a good luck charm. Freeze is a very powerful attack. And uh, one more battle should do it. One more battle should get her up to level 8. Because you want Paula to get up to level 8, because uh, you'll also have an easier time against some of these enemies than if you went into this area straight at level 1. And uh, if he felt a little strained, maybe he can confuse himself, or he can confuse- I think he can confuse you, I think- he, I'm not sure. Paula's now level 8, offense went up by 2, defense went up by 1, she went up by 2, oh baby, guts went up by 3, oh baby, luck went up by 3, max HP went up by 3. Paula realizes the power, PSI Thunder Alpha. That's the move you want to learn because, uh, let's just say, um, it helps against the Sanctuary boss. If you know what I mean. If you've played this game before, which, uh, granted a re-release. Granted, with an with m much like any game in the Mother series, with Earthbound, a re-release is what most people are going to play. Well, is now level nine. IQ went up by one. Max HP went up by one. Max HP went up by five. That's very solid. Now uh, there should be a new enemy approaching. We haven't seen one. We haven't seen. We've only seen one. Of the, this is a new enemy. Boy, is this a new enemy! This is a mighty bear. Now. They can do some devastating damage to Paula if they claw with their sharp nails. Even with our current states. Another reason I don't recommend not to go here straight at level 1. And he's a bitey attack, which I haven't seen that do in a while. We didn't get a level up, unfortunately. Paula's eventually gonna get... You wanna get Paula as many XP as possible. We were able to get her all the way up from level 1 to level 9. We haven't fought the boss yet. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Oh, shit. Now, these are the Mr. Baddies. Um, they can they can size up the your which must like the mole playing rough, making you confused. And uh, you don't want to be confused, let's just say that. We use PSI Freeze Alpha on the, the Mighty Bear and solidified, yes. Oh, fuck, we're homesick. No! I do not want to be homesick this time. And the teddy bear is dead. R.I.P. <laughs> oh fuck. I might have to like um. Yeah, you don't want to be home. I don't want to be homesick against the boss. Oh, shit. Uh, I can't. Paul's now level ten. Offense went up by one. IQ went up by one. Max HP went up by three. Max BP went up by five. I have to leave this area. We're halfway towards the boss, but like I'm gonna have to leave this area just so I can call my mom just so I can call mom and like um kill the homesickness. I'll see you guys in a second. Paul's now level 11, offense went up by two, speed went up by two, IQ went up by one, max speed went up by two, max speed went up by five, and we realized the power of freeze beta, which is great. 
All right, so back in Happy Happy Village, this is kind of how you cure homesickness, is that you uh, you pick up the phone, you call your mom. Hello, Ness, what's wrong? You sound so sad, are you homesick? Well, I know there's gonna be days like this. I must take you, make, must make you feel better listening to your mom's sweet voice. So, do you feel any better? Well, better get going. I'm in the middle of my ironing, bye. This is, Ness got over being homesick. Now, this is one of the frustrating things about Earthbound, is that, uh, you don't know when this is gonna happen. It's gonna very it's gonna be an unpredictable thing. I'm actually just gonna go heal while I explain this. Well, like um it's very unpredictable on when homesickness will happen. It can happen at any point, regardless what really like if you're low on levels, it can happen at any time. If you're level 75 or over, it'll never happen. But yeah, like, um, I'm gonna have to do the research again and, like, uh, put the level chart on screen, like, what the odds are, but, like, believe it or not, it's actually dependent on what level you are. But anyway, I'm actually, am going to, uh, cut to, I'm back to where I was at, uh, the uh, cave, the little, the cave toward the little footsteps. See, I'm a bit. Ness is now level 18. Guts went up by one. Luck went up by one. Max HP went up by one. Max PP went up by one. Ness realized the power of PSI Flash Alpha. PSI Flash is basically the enemies can either cry, you can either start crying, which is a mechanic we haven't gotten to yet, or uh, you can instantly, or if it's a uh, if it's flash beta, it can instant KO you. We haven't actually gotten to the crying status yet, but we will in a bit. The crying status is that your attacks will, okay, will a lot of the time miss, your physical attacks. Now we might as well show off PSI Fire Alpha, is that, uh, if you're in a row like this, um, Oh fuck, Paul my guy. Okay, one of them became tame, but uh we use life up. Okay, thank god she they got attack Ness. But yeah, uh because I fire will attack a row of enemies, so it's great if you have like rows of enemies like that. We use life up on Paula. We should close the level up on Paula's end, but we are level 10, so they're gonna get harder. Actually, when we level 10, are we? I think we're level 11. Yeah, we're level 11. So, we are close to level up, though. Now, let's see how the mighty bears will do. Is that, uh... I'm around the point where we were when we got homesick. It does kind of suck I got homesick in the middle of a case. Like I said, as long as you're low level... Paul's at level 12! Offense went by 1, defense went by 2, deep speed went by 1, vitality went by 1, IQ went by 1, max speed went by 5. Max P went by five. It can really happen at any point, regard depending on what level you're at, or what part of the game you're at. It's like very unpredictable, and it happens. Sometimes it happens at the worst times. I'm I'm doing some enemy manipulation. That's not enemy placement. I like I want to I want to get one enemy on screen. That's a that's kind of a trick. You can leave the screen and come back if you don't like the enemy placement. I need like one enemy where I can maneuver around. Like that's not I can something I can maneuver around. I mean do this all day game. I've been recording for half an hour. Anyway, so we it actually attacked Paul, but we're level eleven, so our defense is up. But um we should be approaching the boss. Oh, fuck no. Okay, we turned around in time. It doesn't matter like how late you turn around, like as long as uh you turn as long as you're facing the enemy at the first strike. If the enemy catches you off guard, you they get the first strike. So it's pretty common in RPGs, but this is like one of the first that use it. Cause like how a lot of RPGs worked in the NES and Super Nintendo days was that uh you don't even see what encounter what enc you encounters you. So show off Freeze Beta, which is a stronger PSI Freeze. I got attack Ness. PSI Freeze Beta will instantly kill this thing. It can, it's a very powerful attack for this part of the game. This value became tame. We might get a level up out of this. I could be wrong, but uh... We didn't, we didn't get any level ups, but uh... Now, um... 
the sanctuary boss. I have debated on how to approach the sanctuary boss. I really want Paula to get the XP from the sanctuary boss, but like at the same time, we've got up a really good level, so we might as well try the. We've got her up to level twelve, so let's try a riskier route. I'm going to try to try to fight this boss how the game designers intended you to. Hope Paula gets the experience out of this. You'll see what I mean. We finally got here. This is the second year sanctuary location. It's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. Anyway, this is... This is Mondo Mole. He is a very dangerous enemy for this part of the game. So another reason why it's not a bad idea to like leave Happy Happy Village late, earlier and come back here later when you have more resources. But like, um, yeah, pretty much like, what am I trying to say? Um, he, um, if you, if you want to do this, um, the cheap way, paralysis, he is weak towards. He will not use physical attacks and you basically won the fight. What's the feelings there in that though? So, uh, if you're going to get the way um, the game designers intend you to, Shield Alpha would be the way to go. We're going to use our Shield Alpha on uh, Paula because she needs it the most. It's basically so it takes less damage from the physical attacks. And we're going to use the Shield Al Alpha on Ness. Actually, I think Paula goes first. So uh, here's the thing. Um, Ness will use the PSI Shield Alpha on himself. Paula will use it on herself. So yeah, if you're gonna do this other game designers intend you to, um, it also Monty Mall also knows Shield Alpha, but like if you're gonna have the game designers intend you to, Shield Alpha is the way to go. We're gonna use PSI Mario because uh that's the now unlike the mole plane roughs, um Mondo Mall is strong against PSI Freeze. If you can get PSI Thunder to hit though, it's not common, it'll do a lot of damage. Yeah, use the, uh, shield. And we are gonna, um... Ness can survive another hit. I'm more worried about Paula. We're gonna use, uh, PSI Mario. That's the last PSI Mario we, we'll use, um... Didn't hit, though. Fuck, we're gonna have to heal Paula. I rare I don't not I do not really ever do the do the fight this way. It's uh I usually just go straight for the paralysis. And wow, he uh, he healed, but so did we. Where does he use normal attacks and hope Paula can hit with a thunder to alpha? And we're, we're gonna have to heal. And we're also running out of PP, and uh, unfortunately I used the PSI caramel on Paula. Yeah, he's 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 going straight for the life up. Like I said, this is harder if you do this method. If you're a novice player, it's like, don't be ashamed if you have to. I'm just gonna use the bread roll on Ness. Yeah, his HP are back, is back to maxed out. As long as we can get a PSI Thunder to hit, which I haven't been able to. Oh, shit. We got a PSI Thunder to hit, but, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to heal. Use our last PSI life up on Ness. No. When was it PP? Do we to hit? Yes. It's used to, it's Psychic Shield, so uh, we, unfortunately, it is gonna be, uh, strong against, uh, See, I don't want to risk prey. Paul has a prey option that randomizes what happens. Um, did I chance it? I'm gonna chance it. My mom fell asleep, but we also fell asleep. I think that's a good thing because we woke up. My mom woke up. Paul's also asleep. We got a smash attack though. It's using offense up. Shit. Now she shield is Oh, fuck! Yeah, this thing might straight up kill us. Oh, we did, we did it the right- We did it, we did it, we did it, and Paul gets the XP. Oh my god, I can't believe I, I successfully did this. 
Ness is now level 19. Offense went up by one. Vitality went up by one. A max HP went up by 12. Max HP went up by two. Paul is now level 13. Offense went up by one. Max HP went up by two. Paul is now level 14. Speed up went up by one. Luck went up by one. Max HP went up by two. Max HP went, 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 went up by two. Don't try this at home, kids. Really don't try this at home. If you're a novice player, just end the fight immediately with paralysis. Because, like, he won't use the sharp nail attacks. Anyways, the second year sanctuary location. Ness briefly had a vision of a baby in a red cap. Ness's sound song recorded the melody of the Lilliput Steps. Now, if we check out our, um, what's can elaborate on before? If we check out our soundstone, Ness touched the soundstone to his forehead and gathered his thoughts. This basically tells us how many Yurt Sanctuaries we need to see, and this is common in the Mother series. Um, we have two so far. And I'll lay it off as part of Earthbound. So next time on Earthbound, uh, we're gonna go back to we're gonna go back to Tucson. See you guys later.